Hey guys, what's up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today I just kind of want to rant. I just want to make a video of my opinion and give a review and talk about how this might turn into a live stream. Recently, I got back into emulating old Pokemon games on a spare phone of mine that I just carry in my pocket so I don't constantly waste the battery drain on my main phone. Found this iPhone 5C in my garage, charged it up, it happened to work, jailbroke it, put an emulator on it for Game Boy, and started doing some research on modded Pokemon ROMs, or, you know, um, Pokemon patches. And I found this really cool one called Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition, I think is what it's called. Hold on, let me double check. I'm going to boot the game. Yeah, Pokemon Red Fire, or er, Rocket Edition. Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. Oh my god, I can speak, I promise. And it made me start thinking about the state of gaming today. Gaming today sucks. I mean, think about what Helldivers just went through where, like, some countries can't even buy the game right now because of just Sony's messed up system with the PSN accounts and stuff. Uh, they still really haven't fully fixed the whole hey, if you live here, you can't buy it because you can't do a PSN account. So, yes, they removed the need for a PSN account, but if you live in certain countries, you still can't buy it or play it. So, you know, that's the thing. And then there's other things like um, the uh, servers getting shut down for mainly single-player games. So now the games just don't work at all. Well, the state of gaming is interesting. And this is why... A lot of people look at me and they're like, why do you play these modded games? The quality's got to be so bad. No, it's not. With a th like five or six person team, somebody over the from 2014 to 2020 with little patches here and there still made this Pokemon Fire Red Rocket Edition. And let me tell you that this was the closure that I needed for the Pokemon series from my childhood. This is 100% the closure I needed. Basically, as the introduction states, play as a member of Team Rocket. In Pokemon Red Rocket Edition, you will cheat, lie, and steal your way to the top as you engage with the thriving gang scene of the Kanto region. Featuring a story that takes place at the same time as the original Fire Red, Rocket Edition will play you with expectations and allow you to experience the classic story from a whole new perspective along your journey you will unravel secret conspiracies explore a side of kanto you have never seen before engage with familiar characters in unfamiliar situations and most importantly steal their pokemon this is i downloaded the rom three days ago and yes, I've been using save states here and there, so maybe add a couple hours to this. My game save on this, Pokemon Fire Red, for only playing it for three or four days, says 20 hours. I was glued to this like some people are glued to a good book. This is one of the best ROM hacks I have ever played, and I'm so excited to start more. To the point that I want to live stream this so other people can experience the story. Because, like I said, this gave the closure I needed. Holy crap. Seriously. So let's scroll down to the story, uh, story here. And you can see these screenshots and all that. One fateful morning in Pallet Town, a newborn hero takes his first steps along his journey to become a Pokemon master. With a love for Pokemon battling and a burning desire to be the very best, he takes on the region's gym leaders and eventually conquers the Pokemon League. A well-trodden tale, if there ever was one, but it is far from the whole story. There are so many plot holes in the original Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, and even realistically all the games. There's so many plot holes. Like, I want to know what Team Rocket is doing in the background. I want to know, hey, what's going on, you know? This city isn't the only place that's having, like, weird legendary... Like, think about the freaking movies. Why is Ash always in the perfect place that that's just what happens to be the perfect time for legendaries to pop out and do their thing? Like, why is Ash always in the perfect place? What is going on somewhere else? There's no, like, Pokemon news. 
that just fills you in with like side quest stories of this is what's going on in Cerulean City even though you're in Vermilion. Like there's nothing like that for the Pokemon world and I feel like it would open it up and make it feel a little bit more in depth honestly. Also give me some damn side quests. This Pokemon ROM had side quests. 100% like no joke it had side quests where if I was like talking to Nurse Joy she would oh I don't want to spoil anything if I'm going to live stream it but like there's a side quest mission with Nurse Joy thinking her boyfriend is cheating on her so she sends you a team rocket minion to go beat up her boyfriend and the end of the story is absolutely hilarious some of the jokes that are in this ROM are awesome and let me tell you, when it got to like the peak of the story, I had to turn my phone off. I had to just sit there and like kind of just think for a second. I was like, there's no way this all fit together so well. Why is this not a mainline story? Behind Red's seemingly simplistic Pokemon adventure lies a darker, more sinister plot. One that its original hero never hears of but which holds significance for both him and the fate of the Kanto region. Sociopathic scientists, revenge-hungry nurses, and, like I was saying, and corrupt gym leaders are just a few of the characters who show their true colors once Red turns his back. And the very people who appeared most friendly and considerate through his naive eyes may in fact be secretly harboring the most malicious of intentions. So well said. What is the connection between Lance, Giovanni, and Professor Oak? What exactly happened during the Great Pokemon War? We've heard about that even... Uh, I remember they don't really go into that in the Pokemon history at all. Uh, how was the mysterious Mewtwo created? Not to mention what is the fate of hundreds of trainers Red so ruthlessly defeated? The answers lie in the story behind the story, and it begins deep in the Kanto criminal underworld. Makes so much sense. And, like, you can even see here, you know, you battle as a rocket, you know, you go up and get, you were trespassing in my cabin during my private time. Or, like, going up and battling Mewtwo, and it's this ominous, so you've come. Giggity. <laughs> Or you're probably wondering what this screenshot is. I'm not even going to tell you. This screenshot, badass moment. Not going to tell you what it is. Yes, you can bribe officers. I actually didn't do this. I don't know where this is. Huh. I didn't have to do that. That's what I mean by like side quest stuff. Like It's, it's insanity. I got through the whole game without having cut. That's the other cool thing. So let's go through the features so I can give you some rundown on that. Steal Pokemon from every single trainer in the game. Unlike other Team Rocket based hacks, Rocket Edition allows you to steal Pokemon from every single trainer in the game once you've defeated them in battle. As you rise up in the ranks of Team Rocket, you will gain the opportunity to steal from more and more trainer classes. So when you start out in the game, obviously this isn't a spoiler, it's right at the beginning, you can only steal from, and this is, this is hilarious, I love how evil I felt and how bad I felt, not gonna lie. The very first trainer you steal Pokemon from is a little girl. No joke. And for the first like good bit of the game, you can only steal from <laughs> you can only steal Pokemon from women <laughs> and children. <laughs> it is so Team Rocket. It is it's so funny. Experience the true story behind Red's adventure. The game story runs parallel to the original Fire Red, revealing hidden secrets about what goes on in the Kanto region when Red is not around, incorporating numerous popular fan theories about the Pokemon universe. Rocket Edition presents an original take on the classic Fire Red narrative that is filled with twists and surprising revelations. Yeah, oh my god, it's insane. Engage with well-known characters in Pokemon Battles. Uh, all of the significant characters from the original game make their appearance in Rocket Edition, and many of them will change, or many of them will challenge you to battle as well. I will learn how to read someday. Depending on your rank within Team Rocket, you may even be able to steal Pokemon for yourself. Yeah, it's so much fun. 
morality system, and branching side quests. Like I said, side quests. I don't even know how many of them I missed. Like, I want to go back through the game and just talk to everybody. Legitimately. I only found one side quest, and it was the Nurse Joy one I was talking about. But I know there's more. <coughs> Although you are... No, maybe two. Although you are a rocket, you are free to choose whether to play nice or go out on a villainous rampage. The game will reward you for either. Many of Kanto citizens, innocents and criminal alike, will request your help for independent criminal missions, offering additional perks and bonus items. Whom you decide to help and whom you decide to double cross may turn out to have far-reaching consequences as your journey continues. Overall improved interface and gameplay. Run inside or outside uh, from the start of the game or use fly at your leisure from the moment you step outside. The game features Gen 6 style mechanics and presentations and the encounter rates in caves and in the water have been significantly really redu- reduced. Thank God. The only time that was kind of a problem is when I was just trying to level grind. But... In all honesty, there's enough trainers and enough going on of like stealing Pokemon that you kind of always stay fine. It keeps the battles actually pretty difficult, which I really liked. But overall, if I started a scheduled live stream to play this and only play this on the stream and hang out with you guys, who's going to watch? I want to know because I want to replay this game again already. Like I only finished it probably an hour ago. I went through the whole entire game. I finished it. And I'm wondering what I've missed. I want to go through and play it again and talk to more people and find more of the side quests. I want to try different Pokemon combos. And I just want to share the story with people. The story of this game. There's so much I want to say, but I don't want to give spoilers if I'm going to stream it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I really want to stream this game. I really do. But... I want to do it with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if I decide to stream this and set up a whole, you know, set up the whole thing, the whole nine yards. Will you watch? That's all I want to know. Let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.